Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. In this tutorial I'm going to walk you through on how to set up your Windows 8 computer with a Microsoft account. Now when you first set up your Windows 8 computer you may have already set it up this way, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through if you haven't on how to set it up. Now let's go ahead and click on Control Panel, do a left click, and go under User Accounts and Family Safety. Let's go under our User Accounts, and click where it says Manage Another Account. And as you can see here, I just have two accounts on my computer. I have my local account and I have a guest account, which comes on all almost every uh, single version of Windows, but it typically is turned off. So you can turn it on by simply clicking on it and turning on. That's just if you want other people to access your computer, but you don't want them to have administrator access. Now, right now we're under a local account, and there are two different types of accounts in, in Windows 8. They did this operating system differently. There's the Microsoft account, then there's the local account but you get lots of benefits by having a Microsoft account on your computer. We're going to go ahead and click where it says add a new user in PC settings and it's going to redirect us to our PC settings here where you have all the different options to change things and of course if you're too lazy uh, to go through the control panel of course you can always access your charms take your pointer all the way to the top right access your charms and we can go to that same option going under settings and down here where it says change PC settings. Do a left click and it takes us back to you know where we were. Now under here, under users in the left side here, go ahead and do a left click on users. We can switch. We have this option here where it says switch to a Microsoft account. Now that'll switch our local account and turn it into a Microsoft account. That'll take everything. Now that's beneficial because that'll take everything that's currently saved under a local account and just switch it to a Microsoft account, but it'll keep everything the same. All your files and settings, everything will be the same. But if you go down here where it says add a new user, let's do a left click on that. That's going to create a whole different profile and everything is going to be basically brand new. So you're not going to have any of your documents, anything transfer over. Your, your programs and everything will still be there, but your personal stuff, it's like starting all over. Uh, but if you want to, you can have multiple local, local accounts also. You can click down here where it says sign without a Microsoft account. And you have the option here to sign in with a Microsoft account or local account. And again, Here's the differences between you know the two. You can download apps from the Windows Store. You can get online content with Microsoft Apps automatically. You can sync, sync settings online to make your PCs look and feel the same. So that means if you're you know if you have a laptop and you have a desktop and you use your desktop at home and you use your laptop when you travel or a tablet that has Windows 8, you can use your Microsoft account and sign into both, and your 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 settings will transfer over to 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 both computers. So something that you know you, all the apps that you've downloaded from the Microsoft Store. Uh, will also transfer over to the tablet or laptop that you're using. If you save something to like your SkyDrive account, which is uh, something we'll talk about further, that will also transfer over. Like say, say if you're working on a Word document and you're not through with it, you save it on your SkyDrive account. You can also access it on your laptop SkyDrive account. You know, it's it's all the same because it's all connected through the internet. Now, there's a, like like I was saying, there's lots of benefits. Like right now, since we're under the local account, I just want to show you. If we go to our start screen, you know, go down here to the bottom left. And we right now, if we try to access the Microsoft Store, it's going to go ahead and give us access to the store, but we're not going to be able to uh, download really anything from the store. So here we're in the main screen of our of our Microsoft Store, and let's go ahead and click on the semantic view down here on the bottom right. Now, if we click on that, that's going to give us the different uh, categories, you know, for our Windows Store that that we can you know search through. And let's just pick one. You know, we have game, social, entertainment, photos, play, pick music and video. And it's even categorized by top paid, top free, and new releases. Let's go ahead and just click on top free. And let's just pick one. Just uh, let's click on pick on YouTube MP3 downloader. We want to download that app because we want to download music from uh, YouTube. Go ahead and click on install. And see, being under a local account, it doesn't let you do it. It doesn't let you download. So there's a lot of stuff on Windows 8 that you do not have access to under a local account. But I also highly recommend having both. Having both a local account and a Microsoft account. And I'm going to discuss that in a whole another tutorial because there's a lot of good things that come from both. But at the same time, you don't really just want to have one or the other. You know, if you have your local account, you don't have access to all your Windows 8 features. So you want to you want to make sure that you do have that Microsoft account. And there's one example of you know things that you don't have access to if you don't have a Microsoft account. Now, what I did is switch over the screens. We you know, talked about this before. We'll take our pointer all the way to the top left. 
drag it down we can go between our desktop and you know back to our store if we want to so it allows us to to flip uh, switch between different screens here and we can even go back to the start screen now like I said you don't want to use this option here because that will switch uh, to a micro that will switch your local account to a Microsoft account you will still only have one account you won't have a local and a Microsoft account what you want to click on is here so we'll go ahead and click add a user and we'll go ahead and type your uh, email address and a Microsoft account simply is just a Microsoft email so anything that ends at at hotmail.com at live.com at outlook.com if you don't have a Microsoft account go ahead and sign up for one if you click down here it's going to go ahead and allow you to you know sign up for one as you can see here in the drop down menu you can choose as to uh, which one you want to have so I already have an email address we'll go ahead and click add a user and we'll just type my email address here we'll go ahead and click next and I uh, know this is not a child's account so we're going to leave that unchecked click finish and we'll come back and then when I log back into my computer I'm going to sign uh, what I'm going to do is sign out you know you can do a control alt delete on your computer once you click the finish button sign out and sign into your Microsoft account but just make sure you have the the password that way you're able to log back into your new uh, Microsoft account but once we log back in we're going to be under the account and I'm going to show you you know how it's different because it's a whole nother profile so let's just stop here and I'll be right back okay now that we've signed in to our Microsoft account that's once you uh, you know get past the logon screen go ahead and type in your email password you'll be met with your new profile now as you can see this looks different than the local account that we have on our computer because it's a whole different profile the programs are still there uh, the files are not uh, though so anything that you have saved under your local account you if you want it under your Microsoft account you have to get that transferred over now if we switch over to our desktop view by clicking on the desktop tile you can see everything again looks different um, we don't have any of our normal icons on the desktop that we're nor uh, used to using but it's like starting all over but you can get everything transferred over easily so it's not too difficult but now we have two different accounts in our computer and let's go ahead and verify that we'll take our pointer go all the way to the top right access our charms we'll go to settings click down here where it says change PC settings we'll go to users in the left side here and as you can see now we have we still have our other users down here it says it has our local account here but right now we're logged into our Microsoft account which is going to give us full access to everything that's on our Windows 8 computer all the apps we will be able to sync settings from one PC to another you know so on and so forth we get all the benefits that Windows 8 was really created for but one thing you may have to do is where it says trust this PC um, it says here your saved passwords for apps websites and networks won't sync until you trust this PC so you want to make sure you click on that do a left click on it it's going to redirect you to the internet where it's going to have you verify that uh, this account this Microsoft account on this computer so let's go ahead and go back to uh, PC settings we'll take our po pointer go back here switch but as you can see now now we have full access to our Windows 8 computer and if we go back to the start screen take a pointer to the bottom left here and if we go back to the Microsoft Store we have full access to download any app that we want now you know any paid app any free app uh, anything that we want that we want to uh, download uh, whether it be games or music or videos on this computer and just to show you that we do have access and it even allows us to go ahead and update uh, the apps on the computer if we up here in the top right shows that we have 15 updates we do a left click as you can see all this stuff here all our apps that are already on the computer it, there's updates for them so uh, under the Microsoft account it allows you to go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and click the back row to go to our uh, Microsoft store let's go ahead and do a, a click on our semantic zoom down here on the bottom right to zoom everything out that way we can see things a little bit better and let's go back to music and video if we click on that go back to top free let's go ahead and download that same app that we were trying trying to download earlier which was the uh, the YouTube app let's see where are you Wow, I cannot find it, but I think it was this one or something. Yeah, let's go ahead and click on that one. It doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you that you know, now you're able to download it. If we go ahead and click on install previously, under the local account, it wouldn't let us until we signed in. Let's go ahead and click install. As you can see now, up here it says installing. And basically it's done. It's, it's let us know that it, you know the YouTube MP3 converter is now on the computer. If we switch, switch back over to our start screen, you know we can see that it's there so now we have full access to the store we have access to other apps and we're gonna talk 
you know, about all these different apps that that we have access to now under the Microsoft account and the benefits that it gives us because we're under this Microsoft account. But remember, I highly recommend having both the local and the Microsoft account. And we'll talk about, we'll discuss that a little bit more in future tutorials. Uh, but just in case by mistake you didn't want to download that app, I just want to show you how to remove it. Just do a right click over the app. Make sure to right click, not a left click. Down here it says uninstall. Just go, go ahead and click, do a right click on uninstall. I mean a left click, I apologize. And do a left click again on uninstall here. And that just removes it there, from there. So from here on out we're going to be working under the Microsoft account. I'm going to show you all the benefits you know that you have with the Microsoft account over the local account. Then we'll also talk about, like I said, more about why it's important to also have a local account on your computer. But that's it for now. I do thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate your time.